Hello everyone and uh, welcome to re-entry. In this video we will take a look at how you can perform a plane change burn in Gemini. And now a plane change burn is a specific burn that is used to change the orbital inclination of uh, your current orbit relative to uh, equator on Earth, for example. So if I now go into orbit view, you can see that I'm currently in this orbit. Uh, this is the white line that kind of goes uh, from uh, this northern point here all the way down towards the south and then goes back up uh, through equator and then it kind of goes in circle. This is an elliptical orbit uh, with the orbit data of uh, 120.5 nautical miles of altitude at apogee and perigee 84.2 nautical miles of altitude. And my inclination is 28.91 degrees. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, if you take a look at your orbit here, you can see that it crosses equator at one point. And currently my orbit crosses equator uh, over Africa and uh, equator can be seen with this uh, white line is here and your orbit is this line and the angle between your orbital plane and the equatorial plane is 28.91 degrees so now uh, a plane change burn is designed to uh, let us change our inclination in the orbit so if i go into uh, my burn tool, um, uh, my a blank piece of paper here, and I'll quickly just draw Earth. And this is its equator, and this is your kind of orbit around Earth. And this is apogee, and this is perigee. Now, apogee and perige perigee doesn't really matter that much in a circular or close to circular orbit when it comes to performing inclination burns, but it matters a little bit. Uh, now, if I took a take a look at Earth from above, and this is my orbit with perigee and apogee here, uh, then there's some points in this orbit that kind of tells where in the orbit you are crossing equator. And this is the descending node. And if I now go 180 degrees to the opposite side, uh, you have the ascending node. Now, the descending node is where your spacecraft comes from the northern hemisphere of Earth into south. And the ascending node is where you're ascending from south to north. And an inclination burn will need to be done at any of these two nodes because that's the only common point between your equatorial plane and your orbital plane. So you can see that it basically goes a line from this node to the other node. And this is uh, where your uh, inclination, this is the axis of, of your inclination, basically, if you would be performing a burn. And the, uh, the burn will need to be done at either uh, of these descending nodes. So what would kind of be used to decide what node to perform the inclination? Uh, well, the uh, in a circular orbit, it wouldn't really matter which node you would be choosing. Uh, with one exception, and that is if you would be performing uh, a burn at the descending node, the direction of the burn will be uh, inverted. Because, for example, here you're going kind of from, from up to down relative to Earth, while on this side you're going from, from down to up. So the burn will need to be kind of different. And you can visualize this uh, by just seeing kind of this inclination here relative to the equatorial plane and the direction of where you want the inclination to change. So if I now go back here, I said that there's kind of a line between your orbit uh, at the nodes. And in this case, uh, my apogee and perigee would be same. So I kind of, they share the same spot. But in reality, apogee could also be here and perigee could could be here. It doesn't really matter. 
the thing that matter is where the nodes are in your orbit. And this is uh, the axis that we are going to tilt our orbit around to uh, reach a new inclination. And uh, plane change burn is basically, um, oops, make sure that I'm in pen mode, uh, is basically the angle here, I. And if we would change our orbit, then we would kind of reach a new orbit that goes something like this. Uh, it would share the same apogee and perigee unless you combine some burns, but in this simulator, your uh, PC uh, burn will only be changing inclination. And so apogee and perigee should remain quite similar from their previous or orbit to the new one. And we will need to kind of perform a plane change burn uh, with a certain delta V that is required to kind of show the delta inclination that we want. So in this case, if I now go into my map view, you can see that my orbital inclination is 28.91 degrees. And I go into my mission tools and ground request burns, just like a PE circulation burn, apogee circulation, rendezvous burn, you would request a plane change burn. And first of all, we will need to enter the inclination that we wish to reach and uh, press request plane change burn. Roger, DCS. Now you can see that our plane change burn is very close. So I'm going to actually now, and this is perfectly okay uh, if you, you see this, is that I'm just going to skip ahead in time and search for a new window. So now I'm at uh, 30 minutes into the mission and I'm going to re-request the burn. Now the mission time of the burn is going to be 1 hours and 55 minutes into the second and 34 seconds and uh, the delta V is uh, 40 feet per second and notice that to change my uh, inclination from 28.91 degrees to 29.00 that's a fraction of a degree it will require 40 feet per second of a delta V which is quite a lot comparing to how little inclination change uh, that happens. So typically uh, the inclination changes or plane change burns are very expensive. So uh, uh, the Gemini spacecraft would roll uh, as part of its ascent program into uh, an azimuth that would take it close to a target inclination. And then uh, an inclination change burn could be done to uh, fine-tune this inclination or change it uh, slightly uh, based on mission requirements. But typically a uh, spacecraft would be put into an inclination uh, that matches uh, its target at ascent, not later in the mission. So uh, with this burn uh, we can go ahead and start to set up our computer. I'll uh, quickly fill out the uh, catch-up maneuver uh, pad for this burn and uh, this is um, PC burn PC burn and uh, I'm going to be using our CSOBC and uh, the ignition time was at uh, one hour into the mission and uh, 55 uh, minutes and um, 34 point uh, 45 seconds uh, and then the delta V is uh, 0 uh, and it's uh, 40 in kind of the upwards direction compared to uh, the local vertical and uh, our burn time is about 20 seconds. Um, with that, I can now go ahead and uh, set up my computer. Uh, make sure that your computer is in catch-up. Uh, it's not running and that the catch-up module is uh, completed uh, loading to uh, 
start inserting the data into the computer. Now, all I need to do is to just verify that the data in the OBC matches my pad. So 01 uh, should be 00155, uh, 02 should be ST03445, and 25 should be 0, 26 should be uh, 00399, uh, uh, which is basically 40. And I'll go ahead and uh, correct this 00400, just to follow the path that I received. And 27, everything good. Okay, so that means that my computer is now set up for the burn. And I'll go ahead and hit start. And uh, you will notice that the IVI vectors is giving me a direction that it wants me to burn at a given time uh, of ignition. So what I'm going to do now is first to uh, switch into uh, rate command and I'll uh, set verb, um, no, uh, <laughs> core 83 to uh, see the time to ignition and I'll time scale to get a little bit closer Okay, that should do. And the burn itself, if I now go to my external view, is, uh, as mentioned, it's going to be in uh, uh, in the kind of direction of my orbital plane. So you can see that now I'm prograde and going into this, this direction. And what I want to do is to yaw so that my uh, orientation it uh, goes about 90 degrees in the direction of uh, of the burn. And I'll uh, correct this and fine-tune this uh, as I get a little bit closer to the burn. But uh, the burn itself is going to be a, a, a kind of a normal... in the normal direction of my orbital plane. And that's at 270 degrees uh, on the attitude indicator, or 90 degrees. Which direction you uh, your spacecraft is doesn't really matter, uh, because um, the IVIs will show you if you need to burn uh, aft or forward. And since the spacecraft can be uh, perf uh, can burn in any direction, um, you can be in any attitude. But it's always nice to align your spacecraft so that most of the burn will happen in one direction. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's some residuals in the other ones or there's some small values because we will uh, zero the IVIs in all of those three directions anyways. So now my attitude is okay for my burn. All that is left is to uh, set the countdown to my burn and I'll hit down and it should now be counting down it's a few seconds off six so then i can go in here and i can say that i want to decrease my seconds a little bit 55 4 53 52 and uh, then i'll go to uh, my map view to monitor my inclination uh, here just to have that data easily available. I'll verify uh, my OMS is on, my uh, attitude is uh, okay, and then I'll time scale to a little bit closer to the burn. Three minutes, take it down to uh, one minute. And 30 seconds, there we go. And now I will need to perform a burn in the aft direction. Uh, once I reach the descending node and aft relative to my attitude. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one ignition.
I noticed that my inclination is now changing as uh, the IVIs are closing down to towards zero, which would indicate that my burn is complete. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it in this direction. Oops. And that would uh, leave me uh, in if an inclination that's twenty nine point zero. Uh, you can you're missing a digit on the IVI, so you can uh, perform some slight modifications if you want to make everything perfect uh, on the mission pad. But uh, realistically, it wouldn't matter that much if it would be zero point zero 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 one degree off for the small kind of objectives that we are having here. Okay. Uh, my burn is now complete. I will go ahead and hit reset on the computer. That's uh, important to always hit reset on the computer after a burn or else the IVIs will start to go crazy eventually and make sure that the computer isn't running. Now, after a plain chain burn, you will probably want to uh, perform some other burns. Uh, so every time you perform a burn, make sure that reset has been pressed and you change the values and then press start if uh, you don't do that correctly, uh, the uh, parameters will be all wrong. Uh, if you forget to hit start between burns, you only change the core values. You might see some changes in the IVIs, but most likely not. But everything will be very far off. We will have 999 in, in a lot of these digits and stuff like that. So remember reset and change your parameters, then press start. With that, I've now performed a plane change burn. I'm now in a new plane uh, in orbit. So with that in mind, I uh, would say uh, thank you for watching and I hope you like these small tutorials. If you do, uh, if you have any feedback, uh, please leave a comment, hit that like and subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks again.